Hey everyone, this is Nate with Grower's House, and today we're going to show off some of our favorite LEDs, um, the Kessel units. Now, Kessel makes LED units for aquariums and for growing purposes, for plants. Um, today we're going to show off specifically the ones they use for plant growth. The first one I'm going to show off here is Kessel's original unit, known as the H150. Now this unit is made up of a dense matrix array. Uh, that produces, uh, has multiple LEDs and is a combined total of 36 actual watts of uh, power that it would put out. Now this unit I'm showing you here is in the purple spectrum and they make this unit in a blue, red, purple, and magenta. Now the blue is primarily made to be used as supplemental lighting during the vegetative phase to your standard light whether that be another LED or a metal halide light or a T5. And the red is made for supplemental lighting for your flowering phase, whether you use an HPS or other form of red lighting. Now the purple unit is actually a mixture so that it's primarily for your vegetative phase and the magenta is a mixture but it's primarily for the flowering phase. Um, now moving over to the 350, this is Kessel's new unit, and this one is 2.5 times uh, more intense than the 150 watt unit. And this one draws actually 90 watts of uh, power. And now this unit also has a dense matrix array, and also has the same beam angle as the 150, which is 60 degrees. Now, both of these units, you won't be able to see the array behind the screen here, but inside, essentially, there are a whole bunch of tiny LEDs on a very small little panel that make up uh, the lighting source for these units. Now, like I said earlier, they both have the same beam angle. So, if you held these lights at one foot above the ground each, they would have the same footprint, but this one would be 2.5 times as intense as the 150. So what I want to do now is plug both of these in and I want to show you what they look like when they're turning on, what they sound like, and show you the different color spectrums. So here we go, we're going to start off with the 150. I'll put it down here so it doesn't blind anyone because these guys are bright. Um, now if I hold it up here and I be quiet for a second, you will barely hear a fan inside going, just cooling the light. Now, if I hold it up here, you might be able to see the color that it's actually emitting a little bit better. And they say this light at between 12 and 18 inches above your grow space will have about a two foot diameter footprint. Now, this light, I'm gonna now compare to the 350. And just so you guys know, it does come with a long cord, so you can end up hanging this from easily a 10 foot ceiling or higher. Uh, and this only weighs about 2.3 pounds, so it's really easy um, to touch. And I'll tell you, um, there's basically little to no heat coming off this now. It might warm up a little bit later, but it is a very cool operating unit. And I know that Kessel put a lot of technology into keeping their units cool, um, including fans and heat sinks and some other interesting technology using thermal plates. Um, so let's unplug this, or let's actually leave this unit plugged in so that we can readily compare these two units as far as their spectrum goes. So now I have the 350 plugged in and going, and the fans are a little bit stronger, so you might hear them a little bit more. Now this unit, if I hold it up, will give you a little bit more of a red spectrum than that one we just took a look at. And Hanging this one about 12 to 24 inches above your plants, um, you really can expect to have about a, well, up towards the 24 inches, a three foot diameter is what's recommended for the growing footprint. So now if I alternate between these two, you can see the difference in the spectrum. So again, here's the magenta, and there's the purple. Mm -hmm. Here's the magenta and the purple. Mm -hmm. Now, lighting them up next to each other, um, you can see that the magenta pretty obviously dominates over in this one, so you'll only see that kind of pinkish spectrum. But 
Um, you know, this unit also is pretty light at coming in only at about 4.1 pounds. And by the way, the dimensions of this unit are about four inches in diameter by four inches high. And uh, this unit here is about four and a half inches high, but only about 2.5 inches in diameter. So uh, I'll turn these guys off and that's about it. Um, if you guys have any more questions about Kessel units, leave them in the comments below. Other than that, have a good one.